What's up, dudes? So I'm sitting here in my home office and I'm saying to myself, what did I watch on Saturday night? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking at Danny Garcia versus Mauricio Herrera. Danny Garcia, we're supposed to play along with the whole scam, right? This is the way boxing works. Maybe I've been watching boxing way too long. I've probably been watching boxing way too long because I'm watching this whole thing go down. Open scoring. You know, if you're watching boxing, you know who Danny Garcia is because you know he's undefeated. You know the whole Showtime promo and all that good stuff. So he's going to fight Mauricio Herrera. Going into the fight, Mauricio was like, he won 20 and KO'd 7. He had no KOs and he had lost three fights against quality opposition. He's a really, really, really good fighter. He's been in it. He's been in deep with, with, with good quality opponents. He's been tested. In other words, he's not a straight up bum. He's been in there with Ruslan Provnikov. Dudes like that, Mike Alvarado. So we're, we're watching this fight and we're like, oh, you know, people that really know what's going on. Like, yo, he's, he's beating Danny Garcia. He's outboxing him. He's giving all sorts of problems. So they got the open scoring. Every couple rounds, they're going to announce to the crowd. You know, the Showtime, give them credit. They got it right. They had Herrera ahead. We're watching this thing and, and, and you're saying to yourself, wow, he's getting schooled. This Herrera cat is beating him up. Jabs to the body, in and out, unorthodox style. Just, you know, it looked to me. All right, it's close on your card, close on some other people's cards. For me, I just saw some close rounds, but I saw a guy outclassing Danny Garcia. I don't want to hear it. The dude, the dude got beat, in my opinion. So we're all supposed to play along. I'm supposed to go along with this whole thing, even though I'm in the fourth, fifth round now, and Danny Garcia's dad, who's his trainer, is yelling at him, like, dude, you're losing you. He's freaking out because he sees what I see, right? So we're all supposed to play along. Okay, hometown fighter because, you know, his roots are in Puerto Rico, so we're all supposed to go, okay, this guy Herrera, who only has seven punches, punch knockouts in his, in his record, is not going to knock him out, but we're going to watch him outbox Danny Garcia unless Danny Garcia stops him. So he's never going to win the fight, no matter what happens. Herrera could be the beat him like Floyd Mayweather dominated like everybody with the boxing skills. And we got to play along like, okay, Danny Garcia is going to win. So what's the point of watching the fight? We're going we're to sit there and go along with the whole scam. I watched Adrian Brona get outboxed by Paulie Marginali in a closer fight, but I knew they'd give it to Adrian Brona, of course. That's my opinion. But come on, Herrera won the fight. Danny Garcia is a really good fighter. But he lost. He lost the fight, and we got to all play along because he's in Puerto Rico. I hate that about boxing. We really, we got to watch a guy. So, so tomorrow, if someone goes to Mexico and fights Cinnamon Alvarez, let's say whoever, some guy from Africa or the U.S., wherever, goes to, to, to Mexico in a big event, and he starts outboxing Cinnamon Alvarez, we all got to go along with the whole bullcrap. The audience knows, everybody knows. They were booing Garcia at one point, by the way, because they knew. They knew the audience was at it. They knew this guy was getting beat. But we all got to play along like, okay, dude's got to win. The dude's got to win because he's got fans in Puerto Rico because he's the Puerto Rican undefeated fighter. Bull crap. Well, well, who says that? I don't say that. Boxing is a joke. I just want to get that off my chest. Don't like that about boxing. It's going to continue. It's going to go on and on and on. And by the way, who are the hanger-on extras in the ring? Who are these guys in the background standing there looking up? They don't give a damn about the fighter. Dude, the fighter gets in front of them. They're in the background looking up like, yo, what, what's up? It's crazy stuff. Look at my wig. My wig's getting all messed up. Oh, damn. It's, it's, it's whack. Boxing is whack. You're going to do this stuff and it's just like... It takes me right out of it. It takes me right out of it. Danny Garcia lost that fight, and I don't I don't think he overlooked the dude. I just think he got that box by a better fighter. So I'm looking at Danny Garcia versus Floyd Mayweather. Are you kidding me? Even a 37-year-old Floyd with 37-year-old legs, he would outbox that boy so bad it wouldn't even be funny. So we don't need to see that. But guess what? Floyd Mayweather is the smartest fighter ever. Not only he, taking nothing away from him, he's a genius in the ring. Yeah, he's really good. He avoids Pacquiao at all costs. He'll never fight him. Like I always said, you go back in the videos, I said three years ago I was saying this. Before all these so-called fake boxing experts who do this for a living, who are wrong constantly. I said that Floyd Mayweather would just not fight Pacquiao. Why would he? Why would he? When he could fight guys like Danny Garcia. I mean, all day long he would beat Danny Garcia. All day long. Alvarez, all day long. Just another sparring session for a couple million dollars. Why are you risking all against Pacquiao? Are you crazy? Come on. Anyway, I'll be back with something else next time. Bye. Peace.